You know how long it had been since Wofford started out a football season 0 and 3? 1992. That is That's a long time ago, trust me. And the opponent tonight trying to make that happen Gardner Webb. Three of the last five meetings between these two teams decided by less than a touchdown. But trust me, the Terriers serve notice that this game would not fall into that category. Offensively, guys, we talked about this all week. All right, we got to do a phenomenal job running the ball just like you guys did last week. Be really physical up front. You guys got me? Sure. Control the double teams. All right, get your ass off the football, and you guys have got to start it up front. Own that run game, okay? You're going to get a lot of shifts. You're going to get a lot of movement. Make sure you communicate, all right? Communicate with one another. Do a phenomenal job of that, all right? And then, the really, guys, just consistency on offense for 60 minutes. You guys with me? Yes, sir. All right? We scored 40 points last week if we're just a little bit more consistent. You guys know what you got to do on offense. You guys understand the plan. Now it's just a matter of going out there with a lot of energy, have a lot of fun, and do it with a lot of confidence. All right? Yes, sir. Defensively, okay, first thing you got to do is you got to keep edges on the defense and stop that run game. Make this guy one-dimensional. Okay, defensive line, keep him off the perimeter. You guys with me? Yes, sir. We want an aggressive rush, but we got to keep him in the pocket. Make him throw from tight quarters. All right? No deep balls tonight in the middle of the field. And when they throw them up to the outside corners, we win. You guys understand that? Yes, sir. All right? And then special teams, we got to do a phenomenal job in the covered stuff. You guys got me? Yes, sir. Cover, cover, cover. With a lot of intent, a lot of intensity, and get after their ass. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Hey, go out there, have a lot of fun, and let's get after it. All right? We're yeah. family tonight. All right? Come on, bring it in. Let's go. Let's go. Family on two, one, two. Family. Newman keeps it. Oh, he's across midfield and got some room. 40, 30, Joe Newman deep in the Gardner Webb territory all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Up to their two. Newman hands off to Morgan. Morgan burrows in, and that is a Wofford touchdown. Blake Morgan from two year, year, yards out, and the Terriers strike first here at home. This year, so two teams going in a little bit different directions. As running for his life and stepping out of a tackle is Smith, and he'll get positive yardage from the Wofford 36. Back to pass now is Smith. Avoiding the rush, not avoiding the rush. Jaira Wilson swoops in for the sack and a big loss on the play. Newman will keep it himself. He's got room on the side. Joe will head to the sideline and step neatly out of bounds. After another 10-yard run and another Wofford first down four, Joe will get the snap off. Hand off inside. And that's Allen. Jaquez Allen. Touchdown, Wofford. Wow. Out of nowhere, 53 yards for the freshman, and it's 13-0. Tight end goes in motion. Smith got some pressure, and he will go down. And once again, Jaira Wilson. Second sack for the senior from Calhoun, Georgia. And again, Gardner-Webb goes backward. Long touchdown run, and Joe Newman's back to pass. Long down the left sideline. He's got T.J. Luther. Forget about it. Touchdown, Terriers. Gardner-Webb, 38. Back to pass is Whitlow. Looking long. Got a man, and it's complete. Sliding down to the 30-yard line on the Wofford linebacker after that injury. Whitlow is back, and he is sacked. Ball is out, recovered by Gardner-Webb. But look at that pressure from freshman Michael Mason coming off the edge. And Wofford from their own 20. Newman on the reverse. And is that Allen again? Van Cleve. Van Cleve gets across the 40. Big gainer. Out to the 45-yard line. 25 yards on first down for Wofford. DeMaurier Van Cleve, 49. Again, Newman. That option look has been good. Why not do it on a pitch out? And Walker's got some room. Nice play. He'll get the first down, though, breaking the tackle, and then loses the football. And it looks like Gardner-Webb once again saying they've got the ball, and this time they do. In the NFL, Whitlow complete right down the seam. Nice right route to his big wide receiver, Isaiah Gathings. You see Cagle to the left of Whitlow, and Whitlow's back to throw. Can he get out of the graphs? No, he cannot. 
big play and buried underneath the big offensive lineman somewhere down there for Wofford is the man that made the play. Is that Jira Wilson again? Instead, T.J. Neal, Everett, 32 yards. The ball is up, and it is good. So the Morgan and Allen have it, and right up the middle again. Look at this run. This is Blake Morgan this time, deep into Gardner-Webb territory. To Ken Wofford, ball on the Gardner-Webb 23. Van Cleve is in motion. He'll get it on the jet sweep, and he's got room. Another first down, churning those legs inside the five from DeMaurier Van Cleve. First and goal from the four. The Terriers are going to have another touchdown, and why not? Van Cleve waltzes in. Gardner-Webb, Whitlow. Quick pass out in the flat. Nice catch off his shoe tops. That's Cagle who's going to get first down yardage. 28 to 3 lead. Man in motion goes by the quarterback. Whitlow's going to throw. Got a man and it's complete. And big, big yardage. That is Chuma Awana down the right sideline to the 20 inside down to the 16 yard line. Whitlow in the shotgun. Two running backs. He'll drop back. Now we'll pull it down. Defense converges on him. He got close, but I think he's going to be about a yard short. Webb quarterback. Now Cagle's in motion. Whitlock, Whitlow looking to throw, and the slant is incomplete. And Wofford will take over on down. They're running up some big rushing numbers here tonight. Second and a gainable three and with the first down and a lot more. Ryan Lovelace, Usually. he's to the right of Newman. Nathan Walker is to the left. Newman turned down the pass. Now he'll drop back and got a lot of pressure, and he may have to let this fly. Instead, he'll use his legs. Newman cuts back inside, falling close to the first down marker. Pure option look from the Terriers. Newman hands it off right up the middle. That's Blake Morgan lugging it out for eight. Whole way after he took over from Jordan Smith, the quarterback in the first half, and he's back to throw again under pressure. Zips it complete to Harper, who's out across the Wofford 40 and will step out of bounds at the 44. That's a gain of 24. And Newman will keep on the option. Joe keeps it. 40 across midfield. One man to beat. He's got a blocker, and he'll step out of bounds. Running him out of bounds was Cameron McCutcheon, but not before a Joe Newman lugs it all the way down to the 21-yard line. Straight handoff, left side with plenty of room. That's Lovelace. He's got it going the other way. Joe Newman, keeper, looking for the pylon. He'll get it. Joe Newman, touchdown from five yards out. And Wofford has opened up the floodgates here at home. 10 from the Wofford 43 for Gardner-Webb. Whitlow out in the flat, and that's complete. Cagle makes one man miss. First down, gain of 12. Now his second year at Wofford. And Mosley will keep on the option, running himself. Powers his way for first down yardage. First and 10, Wofford. Ball out on the 40. Mosley hands off, and it's Walker right up the middle. Nathan Walker, 10. Foe oh, just tripped up inside the five. It's a goal for Wofford at the four. It's a handoff and cutting back inside and waltzing into the end zone is Blake Morgan, the senior with career touchdown number 10, and it is 41 to three. Third down, back to pass, it's sacked. Tripped up by Chira Wilson. Maybe that's why the senior was still in the game as he got a hand on the shoe of Smith and brought him down. Set to kick. And he had to pull that ball down and somehow he's sacked. If you can sack a punter, he's brought down behind the line. And look who does it on special teams. Jaquez Allen, who had the long touchdown run, comes on special teams. And that was a jailbreak. It's like Peyton Derrick, the transfer from At State, and he's going to pull the ball down and score. Peyton Derrick, the first time he touches the ball in his Wofford career, a 10-yard touchdown. Welcome to Spartanburg, Mr. Derrick. All for nothing. Third and eight. Smith looking to throw. Rolls out to his right. Got some pursuit from Titus. 
And that one is complete in the corner of the end zone. How about that catch? Down, Wofford's going to go for it and I think get that first down. It's the victory formation now for Jimmy Wyrick and the Wofford offense. And soon we will put this one to bed in what should be a 49 to 10 Wofford victory. Hey guys, eyes up. Hey, congratulations on a great win. All right, a great win. You're exactly right. We should have done that. You guys with me? Yes, sir. That's Wofford football. That's who we are. Okay? Moving forward. Enjoy it. Work your ass off to win football games. You guys got me? Yes, sir. So enjoy tonight. Take a break, man. Have some fun. SoCon is up next. You guys oh, got yeah. me? Congratulations, man. Let's go get after it. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Turn the music on. Yeah. 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 I know the team needed this. Yeah. They needed to believe in themselves more than anything else, and I think you checked all the boxes here tonight. Yeah, no, I think um, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, I, I felt like we came out, we executed the game plan exactly how we wanted to execute it. We took advantage of the things we needed to take advantage of uh, on offense and defense. And you know, I mean, they, they've been getting beat up. You know, they've been getting beat up outside these walls, and uh, they understand they're a good football team. Uh, they showed it tonight. I don't care who you're playing. Um, they executed at a really high level. When you execute at a high level, those are the type of production that you can have. So a few wrinkles from this offense. You dominated on the ground. You hit the big play up top. It seems to be sort of what you've been alluding to, the evolution of an offense. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, all, just, it's all part of just continuing to put that puzzle together. I mean, you know, it's, it's never a finished product, and people just – you just got to understand that. I mean, it's never a finished product, and you just keep adding and you keep tweaking and you keep figuring out what your guys can do. And, you know, 2018 is different than 2019. And I thought our offensive staff has done a great job of putting their guys in position to make plays. We got a matchup there with T.J. Luther. They were cheating the defense, and we took advantage of it. And so, you know, last week they didn't cheat it, and we just continued to run it. So we're going to do it. We want to – do to win the football game and I just was really happy with our offense and the way they played and it was just Wofford football. What are you most proud of on a night like this? Well just proud of getting a win and, and we're really proud of the last two weeks we've been miserable you know as a football program because we know we haven't played to the level that we're capable of playing at and I'm just really proud of the way the guys have stuck to it they just they just continued to push they continued to grind they didn't listen to the outside garbage that's going on as far as you know what's going on with this team um, our goal is to be 500 at the end of September, and then we're going to get ready to go to October. And so VMI is on the clock, and they were all starting to talk about that in the locker room, and that's just the type of group we've got right now. Was this just a big dose of feel good, feel better about yourselves? Just everybody just wanted to win and, and get off the, you know, get off that zero. Yeah. Um, big, big load, you know, taking off. But um, it's just a stepping stone. You know, um, it feels good, but – yeah, we're we're still not where we want to be, so um, you know we'll definitely enjoy this win. But about six o'clock tomorrow, you know this this is about all be over. So it'll be, we'll be getting ready for VMI next week. Still, all those rushing yards, you know the execution. You had the best seat in the house and watched the offensive line. You took advantage of it yourself. That was just pretty fun to watch. Yeah, I um I told the old line probably like the third quarter how well they were playing in that um, I'd probably have to take them out to get stakes or something. But, um, yeah, just a credit to those guys, how, how hard they've worked. And um, <clears throat> just to be able to execute and everyone do their job, you know, it's a great feeling. And great. then finally you get to take the top off the defense and that beautiful floating spiral to T.J. Luther. Talk about that play and what you saw. Um, again, also the O-line, you know, um, they did a great job with protection. And I was able to just – kind of collect myself and be comfortable back there and just d deliver a great ball. And, um, you know, TJ, all the receivers, um, it's, it's, it's just good to see that, that kind of stuff happen, you know, um, because they work so hard in practice, the receivers, uh, man, it's, it's everyone. I just wish everyone could come see 
how hard we work at practice, you know. Um, but it's it's good. It's great to see that kind of stuff happen. Total rushing yards, Wofford 489, Gardner-Webb 9. In fact, I could go up and down this stat sheet, but the only number that really matters is 1. Win number one on the season. You heard Coach Conklin say it. Everything goes away. All the talk, all the things the players had to worry about. And now the Terriers look to see if they could take this momentum on the road. Next stop, VMI in Lexington, Virginia, next Saturday. For Inside Wofford Football, I'm Jim Noble.